It was the height of the campaign season almost a year ago when Leticia Ramos Shahani came out supporting the Po Escudero tandem in her home province. Very few in the crowd knew then she was battling stage 4 cancer for quite some time. Gracious, even motherly, but firm on her convictions. That is how her colleagues knew Manang Leti, as she is fondly called. She was among the first in the diplomatic community to speak against martial law, even before her brother, former President Fidel Ramos, became a people power icon. Former Senator Heherson Alvarez met Shahani in UP in the early 70s. Years later, they find each other fighting a common enemy, the Marcos regime, and eventually working together crafting laws in the Senate. She was keen on addressing uh, poverty. And of course, alongside that, of course, is uh, the underclass position of women. Joey Lina was the youngest senator in the 8th Congress, the post-EDSA era. She's our guru as far as uh, foreign uh, uh, relations is uh, concerned. Despite serving the Senate during FBR's incumbency, her fellow lawmakers say she never used it to her advantage. In fact, the siblings were often on different sides of the political fence. She used to tell me, you know, the president, he is politically soft, Kapanya. <laughs> he's been very critical of FBR. You know, your manang Leti, she's tough, but not all that Leti wants, Leti gets. Senate Minority Leader Franklin Dillon says Shahani represented the very best of Filipino skill, intelligence, and determination. Senator Lauren Legarda remembers her close friend for fervently pushing women empowerment both here and abroad. She's a big loss to the country. I never got the chance to work with her as a legislator, but my father did, and they were very close. In a statement, Malacanang praised Shahani's untiring contributions to the government, calling her a profound humanist. David Santos, CNN Philippines.